So we're always recording our sessions because um, those of you who can't make it for the actual session or if you want to share the link or if you just want to practice in between sessions, that's all fine. So I'm going to go over to my chair and we'll begin. So you don't need a lot of equipment for chair yoga, but the one thing I do recommend you have is something you can use as a yoga tie. This is just a piece of fabric. It's about a yard and a half long, but if you have a belt or a necktie or one of those things, we will be using them from time to time. And they're also a nice uh, assist to have for yourself if you have find any of the poses challenging. So. First and foremost, let's center, let's get away from the rest of the day, come into the moment, come into the breath, come into our practice. So letting your feet, for, feet be firmly on the ground, maybe rolling your shoulders just a bit to shrug off the morning, go in one direction and the other. Bring those shoulders up towards your ears, make fists with your hands, tighten the muscles of your arms, squeeze your belly, Find a muscle you can contract, contract it, and then let all of that tension go with a sigh. <sighs> so you can either let your eyes stay closed here or gaze softly at the floor. We want to be able to turn our focus inward, checking out what's going on in the body, what's happening with our energy and our emotions, and always noticing the busyness of your thoughts. And just giving your thoughts permission for the next few minutes to just rest in the breath, following with all of your attention, the sensation of breath coming in and breath going out. And just resisting that urge to go back to the past or ahead into the present and just staying with this moment. <laughs> Inviting your breath to get a little bit deeper here so that it's beginning way down in the belly, filling up through the chest all the way to your shoulders and exhaling from the top down, shoulders, chest, and belly. So we're actually creating waves of breath, bringing in energy, letting go of anything that no longer serves you. One more deep breath in. Just let that go. Take a moment to notice how you feel. And opening your eyes, let's begin by sweeping our arms up. And exhale, bringing them down. So as I'm planning the sessions coming up, I'm going to be focusing on different areas of the body. You know, areas where the tension tends to build up, like the lower back, the shoulders. We'll also work a little bit on flexibility, balance, strength. It'll be something new every week. So this time, breathe your arms up. Make sure your back is away from the back of the chair. Your feet are flat on the floor. And find that three-part breath that you did during your centering watching the sensation as it builds in your arms and shoulders. Good. And then bringing your hands to prayer position in front of your heart, we'll move into some sun salutations. So for those of you who are new, just know that we will repeat some postures uh, from week to week, so you get to learn them, but we'll also be introducing some new things to keep it interesting. Good. So inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale, reach it back. Let go of the breath. 
Breathe into mountain, open your arms, fold forward, let go of the whole breath. Bring your palms to your knees, come up halfway, breathe in, exhale and fold. Inhale, arms sweep up. Let's reach it back. Take the breath in and back to the heart. Let's do one more of those. Breathe in. Exhale, reach back. Lengthen your spine as you reach back. Breathe it back to mountain, folding right from the hip crease. Let the breath go. Breathing up halfway. Exhaling and folding. Inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale, reach it back. Take the breath in and let it come back to rest at your heart. Take a minute to notice how you feel. Sun salutations are a nice routine, good way to start the day, good way to perk up your energy if you're feeling a little sluggish in the afternoon. So I'm going to sweep my arms out from my shoulders. Inhale, turn the palms up. Exhale, float them down. Breathe them up. And exhale, turn them down. Really accentuate the breath. The most important thing is to breathe. And this time when the palms come up, I'm going to stretch the fingers a little further away from one another. <clears throat> opening the shoulders. Inhale, exhale, touch your fingertips to your shoulders. Open up. Exhale and close. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. And once more, open up wide. Exhale, bring the palms down. Good. So, I'm going to bring my hands in front of my chest and interlace my fingers and just pretend that you could pull the hands away from one another. So you're creating tension in your shoulders and arms and you're going to keep the tension there as we move. Breathe in. Let's exhale to the right. Keep the fingers falling apart. Breathe it back to center and exhale to the left. Breathe it back, exhale to the right, bring it back and to the left, bring it back and to the right and back, good, and release, let it go. And just notice the sensations in your arms when you release. So we can work on core strength in yoga. And there's a series of movements that they do in Pilates classes that we've adapted to the chair yoga practice. It's called the Pilates 100. So extending your legs, your heels can stay on the floor, or if you want more of the challenge, pick your feet up and point your toes so the leg muscles are really engaged. Your back is away from the back of the chair, so you're not leaning back, you're sitting forward. Arms extend and stay active. And we're gonna breathe four times in and four times out while we pump the arms. If you get tired, just stop or put your heels down. Here we go. Breathe in, two, three, four, and out. Two, three, four. Blow it out, two, three, four. In, two, three, four. Out, two, three, four. Out, two, three, four, breathe in, two, three, four, out, two, three, four. Feel their core muscles working, and out, two, three, four. In, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, and pause. See if you can bring your chest a little further forward. Keep breathing. Good, and release the feet down. Let's just come into an easy forward fold. So separate your feet a little wider apart. Let yourself melt down, relax your neck, releasing those core muscles. Hands come to the waist, engage those muscles again, and let's come all the way up. 
So let's bend the right knee and draw it into your chest. So if this doesn't work for you, you can hold on behind the thigh or you can actually use your yoga tie here if you want to bring the knee in. Make sure you're sitting up tall, that your left foot is flat on the floor. And let's circle the ankle. Just big circles. Other direction, circle. Good. See if you can draw that knee up a little higher, but keep your shoulders relaxed. Don't let the shoulders come up. Keep them down. Great. And extend that leg in front. You can hold on behind if you like, or you can release your arms to challenge yourself just a little more. Are you holding your breath? Keep breathing. So from here, we'll come onto the figure four stretch. So your choices are to cross at the ankles, to cross at the knee, or to let the ankle rest on top of your left thigh. Take a minute to sit up really tall. Gently press down on the knee, pull up on the foot. You're gonna feel a lot of sensation in the upper outer part of your right hip. If you want a deeper stretch, just lean forward. Getting just the right sensation for you. Remember, this is your practice. It looks very different than anyone else's. This is so great for lower back pain and sciatica. Good one to do at your desk. And on an inhale, come up. So know that when you're practicing at home, you can always hold these poses longer if you like, because it feels good to do that. So we're gonna do all that on the other side. I'm gonna bring my left knee up, give it a squeeze, and we're gonna circle the foot. Just work out all the kinks. Let's do three or four circles in one direction and then switch it up, go the other way. Great, see if you can draw that knee up a little bit higher. Make sure you're not leaning back in your chair. Great, and let's stretch that leg out. Again, holding on or releasing to give yourself a little bit more work. Strengthening those muscles, focusing on the breath. And let's move into the figure four stretch from here. So again, whatever level is most accessible for you, whatever feels best. Make sure you're growing tall as you breathe in, pressing down on the knee, pulling up on the foot, and leaning forward if you want a deeper stretch. Make sure you're breathing, staying focused, Let's take one more deep breath. And on an inhale, bring it all the way up. Uncross and take a breath. So we're gonna do some standing poses now, but we're gonna do a little work to get up to standing. We're gonna come up through chair pose. So let your feet move back a little bit. And see, when you do that, you'll notice that your heels come up. So the minute you start to stand, allow your heels to drop down. Don't attempt to stay up on your toes. Take a deep breath in, engage your core muscles, and stand straight up. Okay, don't lean forward. You're keeping a bend in the knee. Great, you can add the arms for more intensity. And breathe. Remember, you can come out of a pose anytime it feels like it's a little bit too much. Let's take one more breath here. Inhaling, exhaling, lowering the arms, 
straighten the legs and take a couple of breaths. You could even jiggle your legs to get rid of the tension. Okay, so let's come over to the side of the chair. I'm gonna start on the left side of my chair. And I'm just going to shift my weight to the leg closest to the chair. Now, one of the things about balance poses is it's always important to keep the standing leg, the supporting leg, a little bit soft. And what do I mean by that? Don't lock the knee. Don't push the kneecap back. You want the work to be going on in the muscle, not in the joint. So softening that and beginning to lift the left foot. We're going to come up just a little bit at a time. You can hold on behind the thigh or below the knee. You can release the chair if you want to play around with balance a little bit. Perfectly fine. Great. Now let's take that foot into warrior pose. So we're going to take that left foot and step it back behind us. Sink down into your hips. So the right knee is a little bent. The left heel is pressing down. Hips face forward. You can release one hand. You can release both hands. You can lift up to the ceiling. Keep breathing. Great. One more breath here and we'll move into warrior two. So I'm gonna take my left arm, sweep it behind me, right arm stays forward. I wanna have the sense that there's the same amount of energy moving forward as moving back. My gaze is over the right hand. Great, one more breath here. Inhale, exhale, lower the hands. Step that left foot forward and then take it out to the side. We're gonna set up for triangle pose. So making sure both knees are a little bit soft. You can turn your toes out a little bit or keep them facing straight ahead, whichever feels best. So let's reach up with that left arm. Take a minute to extend fingertips to shoulders. Reach for the sky and then bending directly towards the chair. You can release that right hand and bring it to the inside of your right leg. You can look up, you can look at the horizon, you can look down at the floor. Breathing. Good, inhale, bring it up. And let's create a counter stretch. Lower that left arm. Take your right arm up and over. Reach for the sky. And bring it down. So we'll add another forward bend here called the runner stretch. I'm gonna turn both my feet now so they're facing the chair and my hips are facing the chair as well. When you bend forward, try to bend directly from your hip crease, not rounding your back, but creating a flat back. Breathe in and reach that crown forward. Reach it forward, reach it forward. Hands can come to the seat of the chair, or if you wanna play around with balance a little bit, you can release the chair, bring your hands behind your back. Make sure you're breathing. Make sure your knees are not locked. And we'll release that now coming all the way up. And let's do a little counter stretch again, looking up, arching the back, taking some breaths in. And release, step the feet together. Take a breath and we'll go to the other side. So shifting your weight to the leg closest to the chair, which should be your left leg at this point. Begin to raise that right foot. There's no rush to do this. Take your time. 
bringing the foot up a little bit at a time. Keep that knee soft. Release the chair if you want a little balance work. Or not, it's up to you. It's a good one to practice when you're in the kitchen talking on the phone. You can just say, hey, I'm practicing my yoga. Let's move into warrior pose from here. So I'm gonna take that foot back, bend that forward knee and square the hips so they're facing forward. Releasing the chair with both hands or just one hand, whatever works. Find your breath. The minute you settle into a pose, find the breath. It's a powerful pose, it's called warrior. So think about all those difficult situations you have to deal with day to day. Great, let's go into warrior two. Left arm sweeps forward, right arm sweeps back. Reach the hands away from one another. Sink a little deeper into that forward knee. One more breath. and release. Bring that right foot forward, step it out to the side, and settle in for triangle. Again, soft, soft knees. Let's reach up with the right arm. Breathe in, feel your ribs opening, softening all those muscles between your ribs. Left hand comes down if you like, placing your gaze wherever is comfortable. Inhaling, bringing it up. Count your stretch. And back. So we'll get ready for runner stretch here. Turning both feet so they're facing the chair. Your stance might be a little bit narrower on this. Hands at the hips to begin. Remember, you're gonna bend right from the hip crease. Breath in, reach your crown forward. So it's actually about creating length between the crown of your head and your tailbone. Hands can come to the chair, or if you like practicing a little balance here, hands behind you. Don't try to hold your head up. It's important to keep the neck soft. And on an inhale, up we come. How about another counter stretch here? Looking up, a little bit of a back bend, draw the shoulders back and enjoy the breath. And bring it back to center and take a seat. So we'll just do one final twist to finish up the practice. Then we'll sit for a couple of breaths and that will be that. So let's stretch out the right arm. Bring that palm to the left knee, left hand to the side of your chair. So the way that we work with the breath here is to lengthen the spine each time we breathe in and to create the rotation on the exhale. So work with your own breath rhythm. You can also deepen it by crossing the left leg over the right. Shoulders relaxed, neck is soft. And then let's breathe in and bring it back to center. Twisting poses are always a good way to finish your practice. We're going to the other side here. They help to move the energy that you've generated to just where it needs to go. And twists are also very quieting to the nervous system. I'm gonna cross my right leg over my left, just for a couple of breaths. And then let's bring it back to center. I'll let your eyes close. We're just gonna take about five conscious breaths. 
And as you breathe, take this opportunity to just notice what may have shifted for you during your practice. Whether it's a physical change, an energetic change, mental, emotional, just notice. And remember, this has been your practice. Nobody else's. Your time to take care of yourself. And after that last exhale, bring your hands back to heart center. And I salute you for joining me this afternoon for some yoga. I greet you with namaste, which means the light within me recognizes and honors the light within you. So I'm just going to come up to the computer in case anybody would like to check in, particularly the people who are new. Hey, everybody. You got a happy face. Are you always happy? You can unmute yourself. <laughs> 